All right, um, grade 10, grade 11, let us answer the following question. It says the graph of f of x is equal to sine x, and the graph of g of x is equal to cos x plus 1. Uh, for x is an element of 0 degrees is to 360 degrees. All right, we have got these two graphs, the graph of g of x and the graph of f of x. All right. Question number one, six point one. It says we must write down the value of a. All right. So the value of a is found in f of x. It's found in f of x. Now, the function of f of x is this one. This one. This is the function of f of x. All right. The one that I highlighted there is function f of x. So in order for us to get the value of a. Okay, we can see this one is the original graph of sine x, all right? So that means f of x is given by this function, uh, sine x, all right? Sine x. So the value of a there is here, which is 1, all right? It is 1 in this case. So we have got a equal to 1. That becomes our answer then, all right? It is 1, okay? Even if you can check uh, the maximum value for sine here, for sine graph, it, it, it is at 1. So therefore, the answer is 1. All right, 6.2. It says determine the range of G. The range of G is given by cos x plus 1. All right? So if you want to know the... The range what you can do first um, you check the minimum value and the maximum value of that graph and that will give you the range to answer the question we're going to have y is an element of zero degrees is to what is to two all right because this one is the minimum value of the graph and that one is the maximum value the minimum value the graph of g of x, the minimum value here, it's at zero, right? And then the maximum, it is this two. So that gives us the what? The range. If you don't want to write the range like this, you can write like this. You will say zero, and then you say two, which is the maximum. And then you say y, then you write less than or equal to, less than or equal to. This is the other way that you can answer. If you don't want to answer like this all right so you can use or but you need to choose one when answering in the exam 6.3 it says determine the amplitude of g the amplitude of g right okay this one is g guys it's g this one all right so the amplitude here is the number it's normally in short, that factor there that is normally here, it affects the amplitude. So in this case, you have got 1 there. You have got 1 because there is no other number there that is written. So it is 1. So the amplitude of G, amplitude, amplitude is equal to what? 1. 6.3, the amplitude is equal to what? 1. All right. This is our G. Don't be fooled by this. When you see that uh, the maximum point here, it is 2. And then you come and say that the amplitude is 2. You are wrong. It is 2 because there has been a shift of plus 1 unit up. That is why it is 2. So it's from 1. So when they consider this shift, which is plus 1. So it's 1 plus 1 to give us 2. That's why the maximum our uh, value it is what it is to them so it's after the shift but the amplitude right there it is equal to one 6.4 for which value or values of x will f of x be greater than or equal to g all right so we want to find where f of x is greater than or equal to g now the simplest way you can understand this uh, let me put this in writing here. So we have got f of x greater than or equal to what? g of x. All right. Now we are going to find where f of x is greater than or equal to what? g of x. Okay. 
f of x is this one, all right? The y value here, the y value, let's say for this point, I take this point, all right? I compare with the y value of g there, all right? For the same x value, let us compare them. Let's say this one, it's, uh, for example, it's 45, right? So the y value here, can you see that it's between 0 and 1? okay maybe it's half but the y value there it's one and maybe 1.8 1.9 right so that means the y value for g for function g which is g of x is greater than the y value for f of x so that is not what we want according to the question we need to check where f of x is the one that is greater than g of x right good so now let us consider maybe a point right here. Maybe a point right here. Uh, maybe I say this one is 135. All right. Maybe there is a point right here. Good. So now, if I consider these two points, okay, I have got function f, function f right here, right? Function f is greater than g of x, exactly on this point. Why am I saying it's greater than? If you check here, uh, if we were to consider the actual values here, this one is less than, uh, it might be 1.4, 1.3 there, all right? And then this one is 1.7, 1.8, right up there. So f of x is the one that is greater than especially from uh, this point until that point there f of x is greater than g of x all right so our answer because it's between 90 degrees and 180 degrees our answer will look like this uh, you will have 90 degrees and then you will have 180 degrees then you write x uh, and then you write less than or equal to less than or equal to this is your answer all right but if you don't want to write like this you can write um, x is an element of 90 degrees to 180 degrees so this becomes a uh, part of the answers all right uh, but before I move on let me show you something uh, if I consider these two points all right using this 270 degrees you can see that uh, function f function f here function f of x that one is g of x all right g of x is the one that is greater than what f of x because g of x is on the positive y values and f of x is on the negative y values so this does not answer our question we want uh, a, a situation where f of x is the one that is greater than what? g of x. All right. So, and our answer is found between 90 degrees until 180 degrees. Because anywhere between 90 and 180 degrees, f of x is greater than or equal to what? 90 degrees. All right. We are done answering that one. Let us move on to the next question. It says, for which values or value of x will g of x minus f of x equal to 2? So now let us check. Um, let me first consider the first point that we are having here. Can you see this point? And that one right here. All right. This one is what? f of x. That one is g of x. Okay g of x there is equal to what is equal to 2 so i've got 2 minus 0 for f of x right so i've got 0 and this give me 2 that give me 2 there so for which value or values of x will g of x minus f of x equal to 2 so but we need to give the answer in terms of what in terms of x so we will say where x is equal to zero degrees okay 
that is the first answer that we have all right now let us check uh the other one uh right here both of them are equal to what one so if you say one minus one that will give us zero it will not give us two so we don't want this okay we don't want this let me check another point uh let us look at this point right here okay uh this one it's function g okay which is equal to one okay for the y value y value there is equal to one right so we've got one minus the y value which is minus one right so in brackets minus one okay and then this will give me one negative multiplied by negative will give me positive one and then the final answer will be two so uh, this becomes the answer x is equal to 200 and what 70 degrees that becomes the answer then now let me check on this part which is 360 okay okay let us check them uh, g of x is equal to 2 there okay so we've got 2 minus f of x right what is f of x it's 0 and that gives us 2 so therefore this satisfies the equation so therefore the final answer x is equal to what 360 degrees so we have got three answers that are correct here we have got one two three right the last question which is 6.6 .6, it says the graph of f is reflected all right across the x-axis guys um if you reflect something across the x-axis only the value of y changes the value of x does not change now they say write down the equation of h so we have got f of x f of x which is equal to sine what sine x right this is equal to sine f x so now we need to write h of x okay and we are told that it is reflected through the what the x axis that means if y is positive it becomes negative if it is negative it becomes positive in this case still remember i said f of x is the same as y right is the same as y so if our y is positive we must make it negative right now this function is what it's positive so we need to make it what negative so when you write like this that becomes your answer you have reflected f of x through the the x axis and it gave you h of x which is equal to negative sine x all right thank you guys thank you for your time bye